that's what happens. I know, I'm very interesting. Aren't you glad you're watching this video? And it seems like something I wouldn't have to edit a bunch, but we shall see. Hi lovelies. So I thought I would do the selfie tag. I got tagged by Jen for general health. So the first question is, what is your best physical feature? Definitely my eyes because I put makeup on, like actual going out makeup. My eyes are super blue. But before when I was healthy, that was like the number one thing that people would say is pretty. So that would be mine. Number two, if you could visit anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Okay, this is a hard one because I am homebody. Like I love where I live. I live at the beach. Okay, so if I could like magically transport somewhere, do I have to pick one place? It doesn't say you just have to pick one place. I absolutely, this is so bad, but the, I absolutely love Vegas. It's like one of my favorite places. I have such good memories there and I would love to go back to the Bahamas. Um, I went to Atlantis and I abs absolutely loved it there because it was like a resort, but also like everything, like everything was right there. So my fibro brain just goes like, wow, that would be really cool to go back there because you wouldn't have to travel a bunch and walk a bunch and do all that stuff that traveling involves. Uh, number three, what do you need to feel better when you are sick? <sighs> my mom, she is really good at reminding me to calm down and to breathe. A lot of times I go into panic attacks, especially if I have migraines, and so she'll sometimes calm me down or she'll get me medicine. So when I'm really, really sick, I call for my mom and she usually takes care of everything. Okay. So the next question is for what one piece of advice would you give the youth of America and why? Not to care so freaking much. Like discover who you are and like you be you. And like if you are shy and you don't want to talk to people, just be like yo. That's who I am. I don't, I'm shy. I don't want to talk. Don't make me talk. I don't want to talk. Don't try to make me talk. Just like self-acceptance. Like that is such a huge thing. Like I spent so much of my teenage years just absolutely hating myself. Just hating every single thing about myself. Literally, I just did nothing. I did nothing right in my mind. So I would say definitely, um self-acceptance and just being confident in that and I know that's like something that you're growing and learning but um trying to stay healthy and um you know also the biggest thing that I go back to because I had um a friend that committed suicide in high school and I knew someone that committed su um suicide in high school is I know it seems like a really, really long time, like high school seems like forever, but once you get through high school, it's like opening up this whole other world where like, like I was a weirdo and like when I went to college, it was like, oh my gosh, there's so many other weirdos, like just like me. And um, also you can do whatever you want to do. Like if you don't want to go to college, like you have that experience and then you meet people that don't want to go to college and it just, your life starts to fly by. And if you can just hang in there, I know high school, middle school, elementary school sucks, but if you can just hang in there, like it gets better. And that's what I would tell bunches of people evidently because I got really into that. Next question is five. What animal do you think you were in your past life? This is very important people. I am not joking around about this. You need to know your spirit animal and my spirit animal is an owl and that's what I was in a past life. I'm very connected to owls. I don't know why. I think my chihuahua looks like an owl. No, I love owls. I just think they're so majestic and beautiful and I connect with them and that's what your spirit animal is. So learn it, think of it, 
know what it is and then people can buy you adorable things like this. Or like my friend Erin who when she's just out shopping finds anything that has to do with an owl and then sends me a picture of it and says thinking about you and it just melts my little heart. Okay, next, if you could travel back in time, what could what would you change? If I went back in my own history, I, I would go back and, oh my gosh, the guys that I dated that were falling all over me and I would not give the time of day to, I would literally get on one knee and propose to them and I just would apologize to so many guys like so many and I think that's what I would do like I would just marry a few and apologize to the rest but I mean because I dated come I mean the guys that I actually like fell in love with were complete douchebags like complete douchebags and the guys that I could not stand were the guys that care about me. And that's just because I had I didn't want to be vulnerable with them and actually be in love. So I let some really good guys just slip right through these fingers. I act like there's like 20. There's like three of them. Two. One mainly. Um, he's married now. Don't worry. I'm not like stalking him or anything. Seven, what do you do for fun on the weekends? Oh, hello. I sit and watch Netflix and Hulu and I pet my dog and sometimes I go out with my friends. Party up in here, alcohol. No, I drink ginger ale. The weekends and the days are the exact same for me because I'm disabled, so. Eight, what's your biggest workplace pet peeve? Um, I would have to say that my biggest workplace pet peeve, I don't work now, but I did work, um, is gossip. I think that it's probably one of my biggest pet peeves just in life in general. But um, I worked as a counselor, and so you work so closely with the people on your team that it can get it's very easy to rub each other the wrong way and if you don't go directly to that other person resentments get built and it's just no bueno I just think people should talk to each other before resentments get built nine I wouldn't be caught dead without lip gloss honestly okay in February I did a no makeup challenge uh, with Emily Lowe and after that, I literally can just walk out without a stitch of makeup on. I'd like to say Bella, but I go out without her. Um, I guess the thing would be, and I know this is not like what the question is, lip gloss would be the answer to that, like because I know that's what the question is saying, but a cover up. Like I'm always so hot or so cold, and so I like to bring a big comfy sweater. Also, if I go to a restaurant that has like the hard wood seats, I can sit on the sweater so it doesn't push on my tender points. So, multi-purposes. Okay, and the last question, 10. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Ah, to teleport. That is like so amazing. I wish I could just be like, I want to teleport to Jen's house and then just like be in her house freaking her out. Boy, we'd actually both freak each other out because we both have social anxiety. So we both just like be like, well, Jen would be like, and I'd be like, hi, how are you? I'm Emily. Ha, la, la, I'm people here. Da, la, la, la. Cause I talk when I'm nervous. And then I could be like, hey, I'm going to teleport to Florida to go see Leanne. And then we could both again freak each other out because we both have social anxiety. And she probably wouldn't talk. And then I would be like, hi. And in my head, I'm like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah, it'd just be so cool to just be like, boom, be at Lori's house and be able to like cry on her shoulder and talk to her and boom, be able to go somewhere, wherever I want. 
First off, I hope you guys really like this video. And I hope you're having a pain-free, stress-free day. And I'm sending out X double O's. And as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye! I film over there usually. And this time I was like, I'm going to film here so that the fan's not in the background. But then I remembered I moved the fan to put a pumpkin over there, which would have been adorable. So, I'm just going to cover it with my body and pretend like it's not there. I think Leanne said that, but she mentioned char something from Charmed, like a superpower. She's so like Harry Potter, ch Charm. I, I shouldn't talk. I've watched Charmed like every season a bazillion times, but let's smash, sm smash it? Get, let's just get rid of it. I don't know what the saying is. I know. I know, I can hear you nodding. I can hear you nodding. Wow. Let's just forget that last part's just even existed. Hope you guys are being free stretch. Back in my mouth.